Bob, we formed an animal coalition in the last 12 months. We did indeed, Colin. And it's a very effective body. And it's full of some of the best wildlife groups in Australia and out of Australia. But they're all run by Australians and the majority of Australian members. What do you believe that the, you know, the effect of that body has on politicians in relation to lobbying? Because the simple fact is that they're all full of Australian voters. So do you think it's a very effective body? And what do you see us doing in the future? Colin, look, uh, you know, as you know, many, many years ago, way, way, way back, I had a dream. And that dream was that at some time in the future, if everything went right, in some way or another, we could, we could get these excellent organisations, conservation and environmental organisations that we have in this country to look after our country together, to, 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 to form a group together. And it was, it, it was kind of looking a bit grim, Colin. I, I, I was actually running out of time, you know, uh, getting, getting close to the use-by date. So um, when you and I teamed up a few years ago, um, that was one of our aims. That was one of the aims we had. Well, Colin, it came together. And uh, I, I, was, I was just so excited about it. Because although, although these groups have their own wildlife issues, you know, within their own state or within their own part of Australia, wherever they may be, which is, which is great, you know, um, on, on, on really important issues, we can actually come together as a group. And, and with that group, it isn't only the organisations themselves, but it's all the supporters of those organisations that we pull in to this group. And that then becomes an organisation within itself that has a lot of power. Because you've got people power. You've got people from all over this beautiful country of ours that are, that are working together on one issue. And of course that issue was endangered and vulnerable species. Which is, which is really important. And so, Colin, I, you know, if I, don't, if I don't do anything else from here to whenever, I'll be a pretty happy chappy, you know. And, and, and I'd like to say at this, this time, while we're, while we're actually talking about this, um, this group of wonderful people and their supporters, that I hope every, everybody understands how important each of them are to the well-being of our country in the future. And I'd like to take this opportunity, um, because I may not get another one, to actually wish them, all, all of them, a very happy Christmas that's coming up and, 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 and to have a, a really good time over the festive season. Um, but never lose sight of the fact that there's always work to be done. I mean, they can have one day off, that's fine. Um, and, and, and Colin, you and I have been talking that, uh, you know, because we've got this, 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 this group up and running now with some wonderful people involved in it, um, we, we, we would like to tackle some other issues a little bit further down the track. It is your environment, but you're probably going to have to fight for it.